In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with discrete random variables. In example A, it says which of the following can be represented by a discrete random variable? And then we have five different possible discrete random variables. The first one, A, is the heights of the students in a high school. So this would not be a discrete random variable because there are an infinite number of heights that students could have. To be discrete means that you should be able to list out all of the possible values for the variable. So the heights of students is a variable, it's just not discrete. What about the number of sit-ups that you can do? Well, this has a finite number. You can't do maybe half a sit-up. So if we're thinking you could do zero sit-ups, one sit-up, two sit-ups, all the way up to some max number that people could do, there is a finite number. So that is a discrete random variable. Now the distances between stars in a galaxy, just like with part A with the heights, there are an infinite number of distances. You couldn't list all the possible distances, so this variable is not discrete. The number of wins by a professional hockey team. That would be discrete because there is only a finite number of wins that you could have. You could have zero wins up to however many games that there are. You couldn't have a half win or anything like that. You can list out all the possible values of this variable, so that means it is a discrete random variable. And the speeds of the cars in a race. That wouldn't be discrete because just like distances or heights, there's an infinite number of speeds. That's a continuous variable. It's not discrete. So therefore, it's not a discrete random variable. All right, let's look at example B. It is very likely, but not certain, that the high temperature will exceed 75 degrees Fahrenheit every day next week. Suppose that the discrete random variable x represents the number of days next week that the high temperature will exceed 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Which of these could be the probability that x equals 7? So first let's talk about this notation. First of all, x is often the variable that is used for discrete random variables in probability, and it's usually a capital letter. So we're looking for the probability that x equals 7. So if x represents the number of days next week that the high temperature will exceed 75 degrees, then this is saying what's the probability that x equals 7? So the probability that the number of days that it's the temperature is more than 75 degrees is seven days. And it said at the beginning that it is very likely, but not certain, that the high temperature will exceed 75 degrees every day next week. So the probability that it will be 75 degrees or more seven days next week, all seven days, is pretty high. So if we look at our options down here, I wouldn't say that the probability is zero because that would be if we knew for sure that it wouldn't be 75 degrees, like perhaps it's the middle of a snowstorm or something like that. And the next one, 0.14, is also pretty low chance. And it had said up at the beginning that it is very likely but not certain. So I would say if we look at all of these numbers going up to 1, well, 1 would be if we were absolutely 100% certain that it was going to be greater than 75 degrees every day. But it says we're not certain, but it's very likely. So it's probably not 1. I would go with the 0.96 because that's close to 1. It's very, very likely, but we're not 100% sure. This basically is saying we're 96% sure that it will be greater than 75 degrees every day next week. 